Monday, just last week actually, I completely randomly barged in on one of Mrs. Wishart's Spanish classes, just totally freaking out, like graduation is in five days and I have no speech. And the, the, uh, one of my classmates who was in that Spanish class, uh, who I don't know very well, but who is the loveliest person, she spent the entire period trying to help me come up with ideas and an actual speech. And I did find that very touching because she was so nice to me and so quick to help me for honestly no reason other than I randomly showed up in her Spanish class. So I was very, very touched by that. And these are just a couple of examples out of many, many examples I can think of where I saw my classmates competing or collaborating or learning something or helping someone just for the heck of it, doing it purely for its own sake and showing that no good reason at all is sometimes the best reason of all. And I have to say, I do find that incredibly inspiring. Each year, the senior class votes for a staff member to be recognized for this for the Distinguished Teacher Award. This year's recipient is someone who has a passion for teaching and enjoys getting involved with the school community outside the classroom. She is someone who has built positive relationships with students and has earned the respect of her colleagues year after year. This year's Distinguished Teacher plaque reads, the Distinguished Teacher Award is presented by the graduating class of 2018 with sincere appreciation for challenging our minds to grow and our feet to dance. The senior class has selected Miss Alexis Provdu. In the book Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell suggests it takes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to become world class in any field. He gives examples of the Beatles becoming the greatest band in history thanks to playing all night shows in Hamburg. He also credits Bill Gates becoming one of the richest people around thanks to using a computer since his teen years. While I'm not suggesting that you'll be a rock star for staying up all night jamming out, or become rich because you've used computers since first grade, I am suggesting that the more consistent you work at something, the more your skills or knowledge will improve. You have spent nearly 5,800 hours doing schoolwork in high school and approximately 17,000 hours over the course of 12 years. You've put your time in. You've worked hard to get here tonight, and you're prepared for your next challenge. When you begin your next chapter, there will be opportunities you're prepared for, and there will be opportunities that arise in which your preparation may lead you to success. Just as you've done for the last four years, work hard at whatever it is you choose to do. Commit to preparing to do your best. Although you will not always be able to predict the obstacles you may face, when the opportunity presents itself, you will be able to rise to the challenge with confidence, knowing you've prepared for that moment. Thank you seniors for the part you've played in making Chatham High School what it is today. Best of luck to each of you in your future. Dr. Lasusa, I present to you the class of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Groh. Graduates, this is the best night of the year. I usually like to give a nice long speech this evening, um, but we're gonna mix things up tonight a little bit and I'm gonna ask Mr. Groh to come back to the microphone. I would like to share a special recognition. I would ask Jack Brummer to come forward and I would also ask Mrs. Costa to come forward. Jack Brummer is graduating tonight and will be attending Stevens Institute of Technology in the fall. Jack has been in the school district since he was three years old. In first grade, Jack was assigned a full-time paraprofessional, Mrs. Marianne Costa, who has been with him for 12 years. It is my honor to recognize Mrs. Costa on behalf of Jack and the Brummer family for her assistance, guidance, and the care she's provided since 2005. Mrs. Costa, please come to me.
As I sat in the classroom and took in the surroundings, I noticed a placard hanging on the back wall. It was a quotation from someone named Forrest Whitcraft and read, a hundred years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the sort of house I lived in, or the kind of car I drove. But the world may be different because I was important in the life of a child." End quote. There is no person in this school district playing a more important role in the life of a child than you are in Jax. I commend you for devoting your professional life to enhancing the physical, social, and emotional well-being of another person. Please accept my sincere appreciation on behalf of the school district for what you do. Thank you again. And for you graduates, I think there's a, a lesson here. Your last lesson as Chatham students. As you go through life, there will always be people around you whom you think are important. Mr. Groh and I, for example, have titles before our names which suggest that we are important. Oftentimes, though, the most important people aren't the ones with the titles. They could be a janitor who cleans up after you after lunch. They could be the nurse that first greets you in the emergency room before any doctor sets eyes on you or they could be the kid sitting alone in the cafeteria that you walk by every day. So the lesson, which is really more of a request, is as you move forward in life, don't let people go unnoticed. Don't take people for granted. Everyone around you is important. And at a time when suicide rates are higher than ever in our country, and people spend more, times looking, more time looking at their cell phones than they do at other human beings, it's even more important not to let other people around you go unnoticed and remember that they are important. Thank you very much. I'm gonna ask you to please rise now. Family members, staff members, graduates and members of the Board of Education of the School District of the Chathams. It is my pleasure to say that with the authority granted me by the Department of Education of the State of New Jersey and the Board of Education of the School District of the Chathams, I hereby certify the class of 2018. Congratulations.